hello guys this is Andy and welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how to bezel 12 millimeter rhinestones with uh, crystals in uh, settings uh, for this uh, bezel you're gonna need six pieces of four millimeter uh, rhinestones in settings uh, these are uh, 11 o seed beads, these are 12 o seed beads, and you're going to need 6 uh, 8 o seed beads. These are 9 o, but you can use 8 o or 9 o, it really doesn't make much of a difference. Uh, I will bezel a Rivoli, but you can use also these rhinestones. You see how these are with a pointed back this could look awesome too so I still haven't decided which one uh, I'm going to put inside uh, we'll see that on the way uh, these are uh, Swarovski uh, rhinestone in a setting it, the color is uh, light sapphire there. come on focus uh, you'll see it later uh, and I'm using uh, uh, 018 uh, fishing thread uh, I was working with uh, 020 and it uh, didn't turn out uh, well because uh, uh, these 12 12 seed beads uh, have really small holes and I've managed to broke uh, to break some so um, I uh, recommend you to use uh, smaller, thinner thread. Okay, these are 018, and now we will see what will happen. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I have picked six rhinestones. Do you see how I. Uh, my needle went through them you see from this uh, top part okay and I have separated them with 12 o seed beads two 12 o seed beads one rhinestone two 12 o seed beads okay so when you turn them on the other side come on this is how they look oh come on focus please it just doesn't want to focus uh, from this point oh, wait okay so uh, from this point I managed to zoom to make this sharpen ah, there you go beautiful I'm gonna pull all this down then go through all this once again and tie my knots okay to circle it just circle it once more and then you add one or two knots okay so I have circled everything and I have made my knot oops wait <laughs> okay I'm back and I have made my knot here and right now here but you cannot see it it's right here next to the rhinestone here okay from this point oh come on it's sliding I have managed to broke the leg of my stand and now it's sliding all the time <laughs> oh well from this point I'm gonna go through the rhinestone and exit here okay at the top of it just like this okay I will turn this on the other side so that you can see better I will try to enlarge it mm -hmm. okay so I am here you see and gonna go with my needle like this to exit at the top part of the rhinestone 
just like this okay okay so um here you see and this is the front gorgeous okay now I'm gonna pick one 12 o seed bead one 8 o or 9 o and one 12 o seed bead so this is the sequence and now I'm gonna go through this upper part of the rhinestone you see from the upper through the upper part like this okay this is the back side okay so repeat this step all the way around and I will meet you here okay just add one 12-0-1-8-0 and 1-12-0 and go through this top part of the rhinestone just like this okay gonna meet you right here okay so I'm adding my last three beads and going through the rhinestone through the top part and through this 12-0 bead and I'm exiting through the 90 or 80 bead depends on what you have chosen to use okay so i am here from this point i'm gonna pick five 11 no seed beads five and gonna go through this 80 or 90 seed bead just like this okay picking five 11 ounce seed beads and going through the 8 ounce seed bead or 9 ounce. okay like this repeat this step all the way around and I will meet you here so I have circled everything and exited right here and now I'm gonna go up through these beads and exit through this center bead just like this now from this point I'm gonna pick two 12 o C beads and gonna go through this center bead okay it's the third bead like this pick two like this and go through this center bead just two okay okay just two like this you will have to do this step all the way around right here and when you're done you're gonna circle everything once more you will have to go through these two beads and through this center bead through these two beads and through the center bead to reinforce all this and then we are going to put our rhinestone inside okay so i have circled everything and i have exited through this uh, transparent bead and now i'm gonna add my rhinestone inside I have decided to use this one I need to open it a little bit because I was trying the other one and I was uh, I pushed it a little bit so just gonna it's to come on today is just not my day okay there. okay this is it 
it's face down and this is how it looks the front and the back okay I'm just gonna go up and exit through this 80 bead right here okay from this point you can start making your creation but look it's really gorgeous it looks like a snowflake it's beautiful and so sparkly to do something with this stand just cannot work like this okay guys this is it I hope you like it and we're gonna make something out of it in my next tutorial thank you for watching guys I'm gonna go before all this falls down <laughs> So, see you next time. Ciao!